Hello everybody, and today we're going to talk about planes. The planes. The planes. Not those planes, but work planes. Work planes are used in Onshape and uh, many other programs such as Fusion 360 and um, Inventor to basically help you create sketches in different parts or on different sections of a part that you wouldn't normally be able to with your normal three work planes. Those normal three work planes are your top front and right um, planes that we see in Onshape over here, if we take a look, um, that are always originate around the origin. So today we're just going to go through a bunch of different planes, where you can use them, how you can set them up, and what you might use them for. Well, let's get going on that. So what I have here is some part. I don't know what it is. I just decided to make it. Um, it's got a bunch of different curves on it and a different surface and a bunch of different uh, surfaces that we'll be able to go in and add different planes to. So the plane menu is right up over here and you just hit it and you have a, a bunch of different options. Those options include offset, plane point, line angle, point normal, three point, mid plane, and curve point. Um, the, some of these are used pretty often. Like I use offset and line angle quite a bit um, and mid plane too. I usually use mid plane, mid plane uh, pretty often as well. But some of the other ones I don't. And maybe there's scenarios where we can use them more often than not. So let's go take a look and explore that. So the first one we're going to use is offset. It's the most common one I use. And basically, if I want to create any plane offset from another plane, I can. So I just pick the plane I want and then drag it up. Sometimes I'll do this with like projecting geometry or projecting or making sketches and then extruding them down into a part. I'll create that plane here that's offset a certain distance and then I can just create the sketch here and sometimes project the geometry down onto that curved surface. And then you can do your extrudes, thickens, push pulls, whatever it might be for that. So offsets used often, pretty often. So the next one we're gonna do in the plane menu is a plane point. So here we just find a point, select a plane, and it'll put a plane normal to the point. Pretty easy. And we can do that with a number of different other ones. I can actually open up sketch four where I have points here. So if I click away that, pick that point and that, and there you go. And any other plane that I want and the point, the plane becomes normal to the point. If I pick a different plane, so let's say, well, see, that's not a good one because I already have one going through there. If I pick a different point, let's do that. See, like right here. And then I pick my front plane. Notice how it brings that plane right to it. So plane point can be used often, especially on curves. Okay, so let's check that one off. Line angle it should be the next one. One of my favorite ones because now I can create a plane along an edge. So if I have this edge here, now I can take this plane, drag the arrow, and I get something on, a, on an angle. So you can do that there. If I pick a different spot here, and you can see you just drag it, and now you can do any sort of feature and extrude it down in a, into the angle you want. Use pretty often, I use that, and then combination, usually with an offset to do something. Okay, so the next one up is point normal. Let's click the little plane. There you go. Point normal. So this one, I'm going to create a plane normal to the point. That's pretty much it. So I have a sketch here with some points on it. And if I pick like anything, any sort of curve, face, it doesn't really matter. It just puts it normal to that point. So say I wanted on... Uh, I'll pick a different point, but we can just keep moving around. So if I go even here, notice it gives me the same exact thing. I can click the face. Oh, that doesn't give it to me. But any sort of edge, all right, that one did change it, all right? There. Let's take a look at here. Yeah, so depending on what you're picking, it does change it a little bit. I don't really use it much. So like that one, now all of a sudden it's normal to the point and runs uh, perpendicular to the edge. I guess that's how it works. Like I said, I don't use it often. I can see where it's gonna be used. I, I can't even see where it's gonna be used. I don't really know. Um, 
plain point I think would work because I have this plane, I can pick that point and get the same exact thing. If you know where you use it and why you'd wanna use it, please let me know. I'm sure there's an instance, I just don't do it. So anyway, on to the next one. And now some other ones. What are we up to? Point normal, three point. So this is a pretty cool one. I've used this a couple of times before. You select your three points and it puts a plane that goes through all three. Pretty neat. Used it once in a while here and there for that, for that kind of stuff. But it's cool because it puts a, you know, a work plane on a completely separate or different surface. I guess if you could did a line angle and then another, um, you know, line angle, you might be able to get it with an offset, but with three points, you can, you know, and you just start getting rid of some points and you get any three, which is kind of neat. Leave that one. Let's turn that one off. And then we have mid-plane. Like I said, this one I use pretty often. Select two surfaces, put a mid-plane right between it. Use it all the time. And our last one, let's turn that one off. Okay, so here's curve point. Um, I thought of a couple scenarios where I might use this. So for this, I have uh, some random cur uh, points along the curve. So I click, pick that, and then I pick the curve. And notice what it does, if we go right to this back view, is at that point, it creates a plane that is, I guess, uh, perpendicular to the tangent or normal to the point running tangent to the arc. So watch as we change our point. Let me bring it up here. You see it like it works its way around. Here, oops. Arc back. And if I go right to here, same there. So it's pretty cool. So I think if like you were doing maybe some sort of like a sweep or anything like that, you could use that for, and then you wanted to start at that point, then you could do a sweep and get it to end somewhere else or some other feature. Uh, you can also, I tried it like, you know, there's obviously the end point there because that curve doesn't come all the way down. Um, I tried it with there and I think if you try like with other points, so here we go, I did the origin right there and I put it uh, perfectly perpendicular. So it would be the same as picking the point right there. So I'll just select that one right there. Check. So those are the different planes and we can click them all on so we can take a look. So we had our mid plane. This one was three point plane. That was a, I don't really remember which one that was. Let's see. A point normal plane. Line angle plane. Going to the, uh, let's see what that one was. The plane point. And then finally the last one was an offset plane. So those are all the different work planes you can create in on shape and any combination of them plus the three additional the top front and side right side planes i think that's it everybody it's peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time way yeah way yeah <laughs> oh oh my god those are all the planes uh, if you have any comments about these, where you might want to use them or how you're going to want to use them, please let me know in the comments and maybe we could address that. If there's anything you'd like to see in Onshape, let me know. I'll make a video on it. Otherwise, that is it. Have a great day, everyone. Oh, 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 wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me make more videos just like this for you and uh, for me because sometimes I forget how to do things and it's almost like a journal for me and then I go back and check it out. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Bye.